everybody, T. O'Neill from Mark Geek Teaching. Here, um, I'm going to finish a painting that has been sitting around for um, at least a month, maybe a couple months. I started this thing and then never finished it. So anyway, um, I, I feel that the 100 Days of Art is a great way to be able to clean some of those things up that um, I have left unfinished. Um, I'm sure many of you have unfinished pieces laying around. I have a ton of them. And so finishing kind of is a big thing, um, but I get bored and then I don't go back to them. So anyway, um, that's what this piece is. And it is just a whimsical cow. Um, I started out, I didn't have the first piece of this recorded. I was just playing. And so I started out with just a, a background of a painting that was there. I gessoed it um, with a roller, leaving that kind of, you know, weird blotted background. And so I laid down a first coat of really cheesy um, student grade acrylics. And now I'm just going over with um, a second coat. I mixed some purple. I mixed some... some uh, magenta there with a uh, I think a phthalo blue and made a little purple put it on and and now I'm just putting together um, you know the tongue that was magenta almost pure magenta with just a touch I think of blue um, so anyway yep I'm just painting along here nothing nothing serious pretty easy stuff I'll just let you follow along and listen to some tunes I may pipe in if I have anything else that I really need to say there. Just trying to put some value in there, make uh, the form a little more noticeable, so Putting some um, highlights in, dry brushing some white paint back there. Um, now I think we're just dry brushing some black. Same thing, adding adding a little form, a little value. See if I can get the form to pop out a little bit. Again, obviously this is not realistic, but um, I would like to have form is you know as good as you can. So just dry brushing some black on. Didn't know what color of eyes to give him, so I just thought, well, maybe, maybe some yellowish eyes. Duplicate that color in the horns. And I thought I'd just put some extra marks in here. Again, I'm just playing, and so um, trying to figure out a couple different ways that I can make this thing look kind of crazy and still all go together. tones here. Try brushing some lighter values again, trying to get some form. Here I'm just putting a wash on, just to kind of bring it all together, give it some continuity, some unity, which unity, of course, is one of the uh, elements of design. And here I started using um, colored pencil. I wanted some rougher lines around, um, and so I used some colored pencil initially before I get to a a marker or a Posca pen. Um, again, I just wanted some, some rough edges there to start with, and so that's what that was. Coming back with some Posca pens, brighten up a few of those colors. Now I'm back with a black Posca pen. Um, I don't know what the size is. I think this is a five, um, five millimeter point. I think it's 0 .05, 0 .5, I don't know. It's one of the smaller ones. It's not definitely not the smallest, 
but I think it's a 0.5. Um, anyway, just going around the edges, I've got the colored pencil underneath to give it a little uh, kind of not so sharp edge, and now I just want these to pop out a little bit. So going over the outside outline with that. I wasn't sure I was gonna do that, but uh, I figured it's kind of cartoonish, and so I wanna go ahead and finish it up with the Posca pen. highlight back in his eyes um, doesn't look like my white Posca pen is working very good I forgot to put hair on him I was gonna put some black hair up there and I forgot and there you have it the only difference between this and the final one, when you look at the final image coming up here in a second, you'll see that I went ahead and went in and popped those highlights uh, just with some white paint. Made them a little bit brighter. So there you go. Join me again. This is Tim O'Neill with Art Geek Teaching. Have a great night.